basically, if your employer uh, adheres to the restrictions to be a drug-free workplace, if one of their employees, if you work for an employer like that, if you get injured, you know, they drug test you within 72 hours of the accident, and then you test positive for anything, you get fired. And then they deny your case. Mm. And then I have to overcome a presumption that the uh, drug use was involved at the accident. Actually, the presumption is very difficult. I, I have to prove that there is no reasonable hypothesis that could be made that the drug played any type of role in the accident, which wow. which is tough. But then if they're not a drug-free workplace, then it's just they would have to basically prove that the drug use did you know, cause the accident to, or was involved in causing the accident. So, you know, if someone, I had recently had a case, somebody was rear-ended. Yep. They tested positive for marijuana. Uh-huh. He said that he smoked it in a in a state where it's legal, yep. uh, and uh, you know, it's a drug free workplace. I'm going to fight that because I feel that you know there's no. I mean, that had nothing to do with the person getting rear ended. You know, it wasn't his his fault. Who who was the one smoking? The one that got rear ended, or the one that hit? Well, the I don't know if he was smoking. Uh, I don't or think he was at the time. But he tested right. positive. That was my client. who okay. was just at a red light. So he was sitting there. So, yeah. So, so he whether he was, yeah, exactly. So yeah. that that so if you get a case or if you have an accident like that and you lose your job and it's a situation like that where you know it had nothing to do with the accident, you right. give me a call. We'll fight that. 